in this video i'm going to show you how you can easily make your own atmosphere or background from scratch so uh let's open for example citrus you can use uh any synthesizer but i'm gonna stick with this one because it's a stock plugin and we can for example pick um some basic preset maybe like hypersol 2 it sounds like this sorry let's turn the volume down a bit because we don't want any clipping or maybe hypersol 3 yeah this one is better now open the piano roll let's do some basic chords I don't know, maybe we can start on C sharp. Yeah, only just the basic code progression. So these will be our bass notes. really low so let's put it up now we need to find a tone that fits to the bass notes so like a universal one so let's try C sharp in our case and now we are going to add a third third uh, note to each chord so let's mark these bass tones and uh, I'm gonna show you a small hack so let's count with me to seven one two one two three four five six seven and now it will fit listen okay so we have really simple basic chord progression it's still still way too low so let's put it higher Turn the volume down a bit because it's way too loud. Now we can add more tones or notes. So uh, we have here C sharp, G sharp, C sharp again. So we can add, I don't know, G sharp again. Here we can add F again, because we have F here. Here we can continue with F, because we have F here, so we can have F here. On the higher octave as well. Now we can add another citrus and we can choose different preset, something that will fit to the hypersaw. Maybe we can try the violin first. We can use the same chord, so just go to the pattern, copy and paste. Let's see how it sounds without the hypersaw first. Try lower octave. Let's try violin number two. Let's see how 
it sounds together with the hypersolve. Okay, so I definitely like the violin more. So I'm gonna turn down the volume on this one, on the hypersaw. Let's see how it sounds now. Okay, I feel like we can get rid of this F here and I feel like we can get rid of this F here in the violin sound as well let's have a listen now okay now we have two sounds you can add another one or another one it's really up to you but I'm just going I'm just showing you a quick way now. So now let's put these two sounds into playlist. We have them in one pattern. Now let's render this to a file. Now let's uh, put the wave file into the playlist. We have it here. We can get rid of this one. This is our wave file now. We can cut this so we have an 8 bar only. It's quite not that loud, so let's turn the volume to the maximum. Let's root it into the mixer. Turn the volume down a bit. Okay, let's open EQ, let's cut the lows with high pass filter. Okay, now we got rid of the low frequencies and we can start cutting this and resampling it a bit. Um, the easiest thing I like to do is that, for example, when I have a wave file like this, like an atmosphere, first thing I try to do is go to the sample setting, settings, we can click on the reverse, so it will reverse. And now I basically just take a short, short uh, amount of the sample that I like the most. So I'm thinking about cutting this one or this part here. Let's have a listen again. I think this bit sounds quite cool. maybe like this yeah I like this one the most so we are going to use this part let's get rid of this let's make an 8 bar out of this can cut the lows a bit more let's put the volume up a bit now you can uh, play with the pitch you can either pitch it down or up it's up to you but I uh, I mostly try to pitch it down, maybe like 
200 cents. And at this point, you can take the the last part or the last loop and you can uh, you can find a different part of the sample like a short one to make a small change at the end of the eight bar so let's do this let's try to find some random part and let's let's uh, have a listen And this is like you can you, you have endless amounts of uh, combinations. So let's stick with this first one I made. But uh, let's add some movement to the atmosphere. I'm using um, Alpha tool for this. I will turn on the metronome for a bit. So it's kind of making like it's side chain and it's it's making a movement so it's not that boring and it's great in create it creates a nice atmosphere in the track. So that's it. And now we can try to put some baseline over it. And um, let's use maybe the release base. I don't know what key is this, so we are just randomly gonna try something. Open the piano roll. <laughs> playlist Obviously the bass line is too loud, so let's turn it down. Yeah, and this is the easiest way how you can make your own atmosphere. And when you have it done, um, you can just put over, over it some... Uh, you can just put some bass notes over it and then add some melody we can also try to put some drums over it to see how it sounds together so let's open my sample pack for TMB Academy uh, let's go to the drum loops and let's pick first one maybe yes oh didn't mean to click on the record Guess it will be really loud, so let's turn the volume down a bit. And now this is how it sounds. So yeah, that's it. You can uh, add some more effects, maybe uh, like distortion or flanger or reverb or some phaser. As I said, endless amount of options, but this is the easiest way and I really hope it helps.